Hi, I'm Kevin Klein. Let's go inside Winnipeg City Hall so I can update you on a motion that I put forward about two months ago now that we haven't received any details on. And in fact, I don't know if we're ever going to receive written details on this motion. It may be one of those motions that get lost in the black hole of red tape. The motion was requiring the city to take action to address uh, their use of gasoline. And the reason for that is that gas, as you know, continues to go up. We're at $1.87. Diesel's over $2. All our buses work on diesel. Fire trucks, diesel. We have lots of money that we put towards gas. So I moved a motion saying with the prices going up and the fact that we know they're not going to come down, we know they're going to continue to rise at least for the next several months. What is the city doing or what can the city do to address that and save us money? Because what you don't realize is under our finance chair, uh, who had just stepped down, who was there for six years, Councillor Gillingham, our debt has doubled at the City of Winnipeg. It's doubled because we've emptied all of our reserve funds to pay for this balanced budget. So when you have to take money from a savings account, you can't really call it a balanced budget because we don't have a plan to put that money back. We'll talk about that later. So the motion that I put forward was asking the public service to uh, take steps to reduce the fuel cost. And I'm just looking at it here. It was including um, no idling policies. Do we have any? How can we put some in? More efficient routing while traveling. That's for uh, departments when we send them around the city. Why would we send them to an appointment in the West and then over down in Transcona and then up in Waverly West? Can we do that more efficiently? Um, travel to and from sites. Uh, during off traffic hours like meaning so can you know are we you know spending more time idling uh, to get to a place because of what time we've scheduled to get there carpooling instead of setting multi vehicles now some people reacted saying oh you're telling uh, workers they have to carpool to get to work no I meant carpooling so I don't know if you've seen that sometimes we'll have a patch in a road being fixed and we have four trucks we have four people working on them, but we have four trucks. I'm thinking there's some efficiencies that could be found there. Anyways, this went off to the uh, department. This went off to the finance committee and, and such, and they gave it to the department and said, report back to us. So as gas prices have risen, I think 10 cents more since I moved this motion. I, actually, it might be more than that now. They still haven't reported back. We still don't know if they've implemented any programs. I think we all know the answer to that. They probably have not. And we don't know how much more it's costing us. They'll tell us next year after they try to find the money to pay for it. Is this right? Is this what you want from your municipal government? I need to hear from you. I, I think we need to address these problems and I need your help. Um, let me know how you feel about it. Let me know if you're willing to help and, and let's address these problems. You can email me at my private email, kevin at kevinkline.ca, or you can always call me. But please reach out and let me know if this is how you want our municipal government to continue to run.